Hello, Turbo Girl. Today, we are going to learn about adverbs of time, adverbs of frequency, and adverbs of degree. Adverbs are words that tell us more about verbs. We use adverbs of time to show when an action happens. The adverbs of time for this lesson are since, ago, and until. Usually, we write an adverb of time together with an exact time period. For example, since two o'clock, three years ago, and until next week. Let's first look at an example of the adverb of time since. Rambo has been doing his homework since two o'clock. This sentence tells us that Rambo has been doing his homework from two o'clock. And he is still doing it now. We use since to refer to an action that has started and it is still happening now. In the next example, I was a dancer three years ago. We learn that Mrs. Ellie used to be a dancer three years back, but now she is not a dancer anymore. So we use ago. To talk about something that happened in the past, we use the next adverb of time until in this way. The school will be holding a charity fair until next week. This sentence tells us that the charity fair will end next week. So we use until when we want to show when something will stop happening. Let's look at adverbs of frequency now. We use adverbs of frequency when we want to say how often something happens. We are going to learn three adverbs of frequency, and they are regularly, often, and seldom. Look at the first example. We should exercise regularly. This sentence tells us that on the fixed days that we have to exercise, we should do it constantly. We use regularly when we refer to something that we have to do on a regular basis. Look at the next example. Cherry is often late for school. This example tells us that Cherry is late for school on most days. Often means the action is repeated again and again. It does not mean that she is late for school every day. But she is late on more days than she is early. In the last example, Monchi seldom does his homework. We learn that Monchi rarely does his homework. Seldom means not very often. He may do his homework a few times, but most of the time he does not do it. Let's learn adverbs of degree now. We use adverbs of degree. When we want to show to what extent or how far something happens, the adverbs of degree are more, most, quite, and rather. Look at the first example. Baby Emily likes cookies more than sweets. We use more when we are comparing two things. In this sentence. We know that baby Emily likes cookies and sweets, but she likes cookies better. In the next example, among badminton, tennis, and squash, Leo likes playing tennis most. We learn that Leo can play badminton, tennis, and squash, but he enjoys playing tennis most among the three sports. We use most when we are comparing more than two things. The adverbs of degree rather and quite are similar, but rather has a stronger meaning than quite. Look at these two sentences. Benny was rather angry when he found out that Monchi had stolen his toy soldiers. Benny was quite angry when he found out that Monchi had stolen his toy soldiers. The first sentence shows that Benny was more angry than usual. But the second sentence shows that Benny was angry, but not as much. Turbo Girl, can you repeat all that you have learned today? No problem, teacher. 
We learned about adverbs of time, adverbs of frequency, and adverbs of degree. Firstly, we use adverbs of time to show when something happens. For example, Rumbo has been doing his homework since two o'clock. I was a dancer three years ago, and the school will be holding a charity fair until next week. Secondly, we use adverbs of frequency when we want to say how often something happens. For example, we should exercise regularly. Cherry is often late for school, and Monchi seldom does his homework. Lastly, we use adverbs of degree. When we want to show to what extent or how far something happens, for example, baby Emily likes cookies more than sweets. Among badminton, tennis, and squash, Leo likes playing tennis most. Benny was rather angry when he found out that Monchi had stolen his toy soldiers. Benny was quite angry when he found out that Monchi had stolen his toy soldiers. Very good, Topo Girl.